You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get a fight with uh, with Julio Cesar Chavez. I've seen a few people pick him uh, while I play. And uh, so far, it's like he's popular. Like, a lot of people are picking him, which means that there's got to be something about him that uh, people really like. Maybe it's just, you know, just who he is. Maybe that's what it is. You know, I know a lot of people are big, big fans of him. Um... But he might also just be pretty damn good at the game. So I'm, I'm going to try to get a fight with him. See what's up. So here we go. I'm liking that uh, did not finish percentage. And I'm also liking I'm liking the uh, the quality of this fight right now. The ping. Looks like it's very... Where is he? There he is. Julio Cesar Chavez. This is a man that I have fought multiple, multiple times in Fight Night Champion now. A lot of people have picked him. Um, I've beat him, but um, there's a level of popularity that I'm noticing the man has online. And I wonder if it's because his character in the game is good or if it's because, well, he's Julio Cesar Chavez. You know, he is a very popular boxer. He is a boxer that uh, I just saw that man's win-loss ratio flashed very, very briefly. I didn't really see what it was. But uh, it looked to be decent. I saw 300 somewhere. I don't know if it's 300 losses or 300 wins. I'm not sure. But uh, he is using Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya in this game is very good. He is someone that I really enjoy using in his weight class. Yo, can we go? Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. He's someone I enjoy using in this weight class. Very good jab. Very good cross. Overall, solid boxing. Here we go. The height difference here is not too big. The goal is going to be to try to get on the inside. I've resigned. Oh my god. See, this is this is part of what I was talking about in that video that I made of Undisputed. Fight Night Champion also has a pretty god-awful design with uh with the movement here. It's like you rotate the stick forward and your fighter is supposed to perform this like maneuver where he enters the pocket with head movement. Like, but but you end up doing it by mistake, just trying to move your left stick, just trying to move your fighter around. And like no amount of no amount of precision is going to prevent you from making this mistake a few times because it is so sensitive. Like just a li a little bit of rotation of the stick is going to trigger this so to me it's just piss poor design like i want to be able to want to be able to like lunge and move my fighter without having to worry about doing something that i did not intend to do it's like in ufc 4 you know when ufc 4 uh takedowns was mapped to the same button to the same buttons you press to throw a body shot and so for a long time, a lot of people will mistakenly throw body shots, or a lot of times, people will try to throw body shots, but mistakenly go for a takedown. Stuff like that. It's just piss poor design. Got him. All right. I think that was his round. I've uh, pretty much accepted that uh, I'm going to lose uh, a large percent of this fight. Like, this match right here, I'm not really going for a decision whatsoever. I'm looking to finish this match. And, uh, of course, the best way to do it, especially with someone like that that's moving his head and just moving in general, um, especially when you're using a shorter fighter, the best way to do it is to start things off with the body and then move your way up to the top. That's what I would do if I was fucking boxing Oscar De La Hoya. I'm not going to be trying to hit his head. I'm talking about in real life. Like, if I was a boxer and I was, you know, much smaller than my opponent, I would enter the pocket and try to use body shots to then make my way to the top. Are you there? Hello? Yes, you are. You're here. But my goal is going to be to just break him down, gas him out, um, just pot shot his body. A lot of players in this game, while you're pot shotting their body, they are ripping a lot of combos, man. 
So he's just sneaking in these small, tiny shots at the body. Like right there, you know? Eventually, this dude is going to get tired. Eventually. And then we'll look to get him out of here. He's landing, but uh, the fighter is tough as nails, man. You guys will notice I'm also accepting more in the pocket work. It's because of where I'm using. Ooh! He landed all that. Ah, dang. He is hanging out in the pocket with me too long. If, I'm the, if I was the one using Oscar De La Hoya, I would not be hanging in the pocket at all. I would just be sticking. Like, right there, I would not be doing that at all. Like, this is, this is, he's doing exactly what I want him to do. Yeah, keep it going. Keep, keep it going, brother. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh shit, I'm cut. Does this man cut the easiest? I, like he, he might he might cut the easiest man out of every single fighter that I fought or I've even used. Like every single time I fought this man, he, I, I, I end up cutting him so easily. In the last fight that I posted two days ago where I fought him using Tommy Hearns, he, I cut him so quickly and he was busted up the whole entire fight. There is a stat, and this dude is not gonna quit. He's just, he's gonna drag this fucking thing out. There is a stat in the game control that controls damage, um, your ability to uh, withstand cuts and bruises. I, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if his is lower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whew. I love these tiny shots, man. These t oh, these tiny shots, they're money, bro. Excuse me. Mm, he landed that one. That was a good shot. That was a good two-piece right there. Ah, come on. Dude, I just... I'm, uh, the movement, bro. He called me. Look at my blood on the canvas. Also, um, there's some, when I'm playing this game, right, or any boxing game, and I say cage, it's like, you know what I mean, right? Like, you know what I mean. I meant to say ring, but it's like, I play mostly mixed martial arts games, and I'm an, I'm an MMA fan. I watch way more MMA than I do boxing, so... The word cage, you know, just look at, dude, look at how busted up my fighter is, dude. Yeah, the word cage is like, it's so ingrained in me. Like, a lot of times I say it when I actually meant to say ring. It's like, doesn't mean that I don't know where boxers fight. You know what I mean? It's, 
Oh my goodness, man. Some of the some, some of the things I have to address. So this is to be expected. Uh, three rounds to nothing. That's okay. Like I said, I am not looking to win a decision. I am looking to stop this man. And uh, the goal is gas him out by round number eight. By round number eight, I would like this man t like well, well, well into being completely gassed. And then I can just have my fun with him. I like the fact that he's being very aggressive and really trying to get me off him. It's always fun fighting another body snatcher because he's really trying to hit my body as well. It's always fun because, you know, it's, it's figuring out how to deal my body damage without taking too much body damage myself. Or figure out a way to be more efficient. Trying to sneak in some of these power shots. Yes, dude. He is getting ridiculously aggressive, man. That's interesting. Very interesting. He's fighting like he has to be somewhere. Like, bro, you're winning the fight. You are completely winning the fight. This is, you're, you're really just giving me what I want even more, sir. I think this was my round, man. I really think this was my round. I was able to land some very clean shots here. And the more aggressive he gets, the more openings he leaves for me. That's the thing with this game. A lot of times you're going to run into a, a player that, that's, that's very, very cautious, just like you are. And uh, it turns into a freaking chess match, man. Those are fun. Those are fun. It becomes a, a battle of patience, right? test of patience is like okay who's who's more composed who's more patient like i noticed he wasn't skipping so right now i'm just not gonna skip like i'm just not gonna um so it's like <laughs> he he wants us to watch the whole entire uh break in between i'm just gonna watch we'll just do that I wonder if that is making him more aggressive. The fact that I am no longer trying to skip. Perhaps that's making him more aggressive. Because, I mean, look at him. He's he's completely abandoning the way Oscar De La Hoya fights. <laughs> he is completely abandoning his jabs, his cross, you know, his clean shots, movement. This man is really trying to brawl right now with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. But that's okay. I'm just gonna do my thing. I'm gonna pot shot him. Little by little. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not good, man. That is not good, bro. Your mouth is open now. You see the way he's swinging right now? That's perfect. Look at his mouth wide open while we're just stabbing him to the body all day long. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo! Boy. Oh, this is not good, man. This is not good, bro. This is not good. This is not good. You are wilting. You are wilting. Ah ha Yes, that right there. That right there. That little stumble he just did. 
one of the most beautiful things about this game is like it gives you the information that you need, man. Like I don't need the HUD. I haven't played with the HUD in a very, very long time. And I feel like I get all the information I need, bro. Like, I get information on if my fighter is is getting tired just by looking at my fighter. Um, the way he moves, uh, how sluggish his shots start to, to feel. And then with my opponent, I can take a look at my opponent and I can tell if they're getting tired. If I look at the mouth, is the mouth open? How heavy are they breathing? Um, at the end of the round, that yeah, if you see that little like stumble at the end of the round, it's like, it's a, oh, fuck, this round, oof. It gives you everything you need to know. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking for opportunities to, to turn this thing around on this man. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's about to get bad. It's about to get bad for you. Yes, it's about to get bad now. I feel you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. This is where it gets awful. This is where you die, sir. Good. There, you, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Let's see. Let's see. That first, uh, this first get up was a little bit iffy, bro. This first get up is looking a little bit suspicious to me. I don't know. I don't know if you can get up a second time, bro. You are done, sir. You are done. I'm, I'm about to knock you down again. You are completely done. Now I can move forward completely with reckless abandon. Well, not, not with reckless abandon, but uh, close to with reckless abandon. There we go. Sit him down again. I don't see this man getting... Yo, let me get a nice thumbnail, bro. I want the other angle. There you go. Yeah, I, I don't know if this man's going to get up, man. I don't know if he can get up a second time. I think this fight's over. I think it's done. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is done. It's over. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> can I drop this can I drop this man one more time in this round? Get a 10-6. And get a third knockdown. We can get a 10-6 here. Yes. There's no way, man. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way. Get up! Yeah. Get up! Get up! Get up! He actually fucking did it. He did it. Oh my god. Man, the way players get so good at this damn mini game. You know what, man? It's just, I think it's the more frequently you get knocked down, the, the better you just get at it. Like, I don't really get a lot of practice with this damn mini game, bro. Like, to be honest. This fight's over. At this point, it's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it, man. That is it. That is it. I don't care. I don't care how good you are, bro. I don't care how good you are. That's it. It's over. It's over. Flatten his ass into the cage. Into the See, I said cage again. Into the ring. Flatten him into the ring like that. Yeah, good night. Good night, sir. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Whoo! Okay. Well, what can I say? Julio Cesar Chavez. It, it is uh. It's his character in the game is uh. It's okay. It, it's okay. I I still wouldn't really pick him often just because he's too short. He's just too small. You know, there are a lot of guys in this in this weight class that are just taller and they'll be able to pot shot you all the way from the outside. Getting on the inside is just so much, so much more difficult. If my opponent, very interesting. He won the first three rounds. I won the last three rounds. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, But uh, yeah, if this dude... Real, if if his whole entire goal was just stay on the outside, use pot shots, it would have been way harder for me to get on the inside. Um, he actually helped me out by trying to brawl at, at multiple times. Helped me just to stab him to the body with just very small sneaky shots, and it did wonders for his uh his stamina to go down. But um, that's it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Take a look at the fight totals as I scroll through them right here. Um. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys. Have a good morning.